having a look at the Kia Carnival. It is an eight-seater and I'm excited to find out how good it is as a baby drive. <laughs> Storage in the front of the Carnival is really good, there's so much. There's two cup holders in the central console, they're a good size for a reusable and disposable coffee cup and a large refillable water bottle fits in there too. In front of them is a phone well with the USB and 12 volt. Behind them there's a little well as well. And then the central console storage box is really nice and big. It's felt lined and there's a glasses case in there as well. There's no glasses case in the ceiling but there is a conversation mirror which is excellent. The glove box is a really nice size. It will fit an iPad and a wallet in there. And above it in the dashboard is another one and I could fit my wallet in there too. The door bins are a really good size. I could get an iPad and wallet and a large refillable water bottle in there. There's also another storage area above that. And in the side of the central console here, there's another big storage area. Storage in the second row of the Carnival is excellent too. In the central seat back here, it comes down quite hard. It's two cup holders. They're a good size for a large refillable water bottle and a baby bottle and a disposable and reusable coffee cup fit in there too. In front of them is another two cup holders. They're also a really good size for baby bottles and disposable and reusable coffee cups. In the bottom of the central console here, there's a storage case here and another well, which is really good for your phone or something. The door bins, they're a really good size. They will hold a large refillable water bottle and an iPad fits in them too. There's net pockets in the back of both seats. They will hold an iPad, but they won't conceal it. There's also a bag hook on the back of one of them. In the third row of the Carnival, storage is really good too. On both sides, there are two cup holders. They will hold a large refillable water bottle and a disposable and reusable coffee cup. In front of them, there's a little storage well as well. In the second row of the Carnival, there's Isofix in the two outer seats. And in the third row, there's Isofix in the right-hand seat. There's top tether in both outer seats in the central row and in the third row there's two top tethers as well. So that's four top tethers and three isofix. I've managed to fit four child seats in the back here, two in the central row in the outer seats and two in the back as well. And a grown adult is able to sit in the central seat. In the third row there's not really enough room for a third passenger next to the two child seats. For passengers to access that central seat in the second row, they can climb through this gap here. For them to access the third row, that central seat does fold forward, so they could climb through there. Otherwise, you can bring this second row seat forward and then the seat back, keeping the child seat installed. And there's this gap here for the child to climb through to access the third row seats. The only thing that concerns me is reaching through as an adult to make sure that those harnesses are all done up tight enough. Just might be a little bit tricky. The Kia Carnival is actually a really good car to drive. And for something so big, it doesn't actually feel that big when you're driving it. The media system in the Kia Carnival is really nice and basic and easy, simple to use. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so that makes it easier too. When you put it in reverse, the camera image is a bit blurry and pixelated, and you can't mute the sound of the parking sensors unless you turn the whole thing off with a button down in the central console. The boot opens and closes with a bit of a beep, which could disturb a sleeping baby. Once you get in here, the boot space is a bit different in the Carnival. It's really deep and low down, so you've got to bend down into it, but it still holds a good amount. When we're only using five seats, it will hold 24 shopping bags, or the Mountain Buggy Duet Twin Stroller and 15 shopping bags, the Bright Axe Flex Tandem Stroller and 16 shopping bags, the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle and 16 shopping bags, the Mountain Buggy Nano and 22 shopping bags. When using all eight seats, it will fit 10 shopping bags, or the Mountain Buggy Duet Twin Stroller and five shopping bags, or the Brightax Flex Tandem Stroller and five shopping bags, or the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle Single Stroller and five shopping bags, or the Mountain Buggy Nano and seven shopping bags. That is the area that these third row seats collapse into. They're a bit of a handful to, to manage. So to sum up with the Carnival, it's a really good family car. 
Even though it's really big, the seating is fantastic, although a little complicated. The media screen's great and the storage is excellent. And my favourite feature with this are these sliding doors. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au